Welcome back to War TV Movie Reviews. I'm Jacob Connor. And I'm Benjamin Pasley. And today we're going to review Black Panther. In my opinion, it was really good. Yeah, it was a good movie. I liked it. Uh, as far as story goes, it was much stronger than the Cloverfield Paradox. Mm -hmm. uh, T'Challa is the king of Wakanda, which is an African country that's extremely technologically advanced, but it keeps that technology a secret, like, to sort of protect itself so they don't get you know, raided or like they're not the focus of the world. No other nation knows about their technolo technology and their vibranium, which makes them like so advanced. This is the strongest metal in the world and it can basically do whatever in science. It can. Yeah, it's a very flexible metal, like along with like being strong, it also like just has a lot of purposes as different alloys and such. From medicine to, you know, whatever. whatever. But enough about that. Uh, we follow T'Challa, who is the king of this country. And his job, along with, you know, politics and such, is to keep the country a secret. And that's sort of the focus of this movie. Now, the acting was phenomenal. Yes. Uh, Chad Chaswick? Chadwick Boseman. Chadwick. Chadwick Boseman uh, plays T'Challa. He does an excellent job. Uh, Michael B. Jordan is Eric. Eric Killmonger. Yes. And, uh, Possibly I, the best villain in the Marvel Universe. I gotta say, he really pulled this movie together. Yeah. Like, he was... It, it was a joy to have him on screen. My, my, Michael B. Jordan's been on a hot streak lately with Creed, the uh, movie Creed, the boxing movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, he's, uh, he's, he's been doing really well. And the director of this movie, uh, Ryan Coogler, directed Creed as well. Oh, that makes sense. Like, yeah. He, yeah. But uh, I feel like definitely the strongest Marvel villain yet. Mm -hmm. it, because he's very complex. Yeah, he's he's a round character in this. He doesn't yeah. he doesn't really change that the movie, but he has these viewpoints of where he's not he's not like, like oh I'm I'm gonna go to Earth and blow everything up like every other Marvel villain you know like one he goes he goes like in to Wakanda and explains his ideas. He says hey listen to me you know I might kill a few in innocent people but I have ideas and you need to listen right yeah like. Like, one scene you'll be hating this guy, the next scene you'll be loving him. Mm -hmm. Now, soundtrack, too. This movie was just yes. an all-around, like, success for Marvel. Mm -hmm. The soundtrack was by far the most unique that's been in a Marvel movie, except maybe with uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. But uh, for the most part, it takes a very different look at the, like, basic, you know, superhero, so like, songs and yes. music. Like, it, it brings a more modern and interesting take to uh, the music in Marvel movies. Now, all in all, I'm giving this movie a strong 8.5. The only thing that keeps it from that 9 for me is that a lot of the scenes where they tried to be comedic really just fell flat. Like, yeah. it's a serious movie. Don't go in there s expecting to, like, you know, bu bust a gut. You know, just, like, go in there. You you're going to watch a good movie. It's not going to be a funny movie. Yeah, it's, it's more serious than anything. I would also give it an 8.5 as well because a few things I didn't like about it. Uh, the inclusion of Claw. Yes, Claw uh, as a secondary villain. He kind of just showed up, did nothing, and that was it. Like his character was over after yeah. he like accomplished nothing. There wasn't really a purpose for Claw other than to sort of show off T'Challa's powers. And that, that's going to be all for today. And join us two weeks from now for our review of Annihilation.